Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. The 74th Psalm was written as a sort of lamentation for believing Israelites at a time when repeated unholiness had brought them under cruel oppression of enemies who despised their religion and fought their spiritual practices. They could no longer worship in the ancient way, and it sometimes seemed that God had abandoned them. Psalm 74, 9, We see not our signs, there is no more any prophet, neither is there among us any that knoweth how long. We see not our signs. In better, more spiritual days, God had used various means to show his people his will, but now, alas, no Urim and Thummim blazed on the high priest's breastplate, and no Shekinah shone from between the cherubim. The smoke of sacrifice and cloud of incense no more arose from the holy hill. Solemn feasts were suspended, and even circumcision, the covenant most sign, was forbidden by the foreign tyrant who ruled him. We, too, as believers, know how critical it is to have present in our lives the evidence of God's presence, which alone shields us from groping about in darkness. And it is sad if churches miss the tokens of the Redeemer's presence and their lamps remain untrimmed. The psalmist mourned because there is no more a prophet. No inspiring message or consoling promise could be found. No leader with a burning vision stood to point with his staff toward the rock from which the water could flow or the Red Sea be parted. It is a woe to any society when the voice of the preacher of the gospel fails and the famine of the word of life falls on the people. God sent ministers are as needful to the saints as their daily bread, and it is a great sorrow when a congregation is destitute of a faithful pastor. The church and the world are sorely in need of leaders whose hearts and tongues are touched by celestial fire. Next the psalmist grieve, neither is there any among us that knoweth how long. If someone could foretell an end, we could possibly endure the spiritual night about us with patience. But when no one can see a termination or foretell an escape, the misery has a hopeless appearance and is overwhelming. Thank God he has not left his church, even in the thick spiritual darkness of today's world, so deplorably destitute of a vision of a bright and certain future. Contempt of the Bible and Christianity is very common, and those kinds of attitudes may well provoke the Lord to withdraw in the distance from those who share them. And we also must gaze in wonder at the mystery of why God tolerates his word to be so abused, the name of his son to be so freely used as a byword and a cursing, and people to set good for evil and evil for good. How long will he look in silence on such great defilement? The answer lies in a secret not even confided to Jesus Christ, for no man knows the hour or day of his vengeance, not even the son himself. So, indeed, no living person can tell how long things shall continue as they are, nor how deep are the black caverns of sin into which humanity will be allowed to plunge before God in heaven calls it enough. Our task is not to put ourselves in God's place and try to tell him how to run his church or what to do in his world. We pray for it, but we are not masters of it. The answer to our spiritual needs is found in the next few verses of this holy message from the distant past a message that is still vibrant and meaningful today. For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Satan and his diabolical forces have been busying themselves, seeking to snuff out the sacred fires on the altars of Christianity since the Holy Spirit brought its sound of divine wind into the upper room. Persecution, rather than quench the blaze, has only knocked over the lamp and spread the flaming oil throughout the earth. So long as our world shall stand, God will have a people to serve and follow him, just as he has preserved the Abrahams of the past from the pagan world about them, so he will continue to call out and deliver those who seek him early. His church is an eternal church, just as he is an eternal God. Have you talked to him today? You have been listening to God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at G-O-D-S-F-I-V-E minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.
never miss your favorite show again. For more than 30 years, KNEO has been bringing you great Bible teachers on a local and national level. And now we've made it easier than ever to hear from these great men and women of God. KNEO's entire lineup is now available to listen anytime, anywhere through our website. Go to KNEO.org slash podcast to see all the options. You can search for programs alphabetically, or you can select individual categories like culture, kids, leadership, or music. We even have a category just for locally produced programs, so you can hear from pastors and spiritual leaders located right here in the four-state area. And all these resources are absolutely free. KNEO's mission is to get God's Word in front of you, and this is one of the ways we do it. Give it a try today. Go to KNEO.org and click on the podcast tab to get started.